Well, good morning, folks. Welcome to your daily update. It's Thursday, the 2nd of April. Loads to talk about today. We're talking about April Fool's pranks. We're talking podcasts. We're talking footballers' salaries. Also want to mention something cool that's coming up on Sunday that we can all get involved with. So let's dive in. Of course, yesterday was April Fool's Day. I got fooled. A member of my congregation emailed me with uh, what I thought was breaking news about football telling me that Glen Torren were getting a new stadium at Sea Park in Hollywood and that Wolves have been awarded the Europa League trophy because they had scored the most goals. Sounds absurd, sounds ridiculous, I know, but when I got the email, I just fell for it. I thought, oh my goodness, I need to check this out. And I went onto the BBC Sport website, couldn't see anything about it anywhere. And then all of a sudden I realised, oh, it's April Fool's Day. So John Cochran, well played. I'm already planning a, a prank for you next year. On social media, there were loads of pranks doing the rounds. One friend of mine told his kids that school was back on and, and made them get up early and get dressed into their school uniforms and go outside with their school bags ready to go, only then to shout April Fool's Day. And it was just hilarious seeing their response to the whole thing. So it's nice to have a, a bit of kind of lighthearted fun in the middle of all this that's going on. Wanted to mention this morning as well, a uh, podcast to you. Uh, you can access podcasts in a number of different ways through various podcast providers like Spotify. And a lot of smartphones have a little podcast app, which you can click on and, and search them for, for different uh, podcasts. But I want to mention too, in particular, there's a new PCI one, so Presbyterian Church one that's just started yesterday. Rick Hill uh, hosts it, and there's one episode released each week on a Wednesday. So yesterday's episode involved a, a few ministers from around the island of Ireland being interviewed about their response to coronavirus so far. So I encourage you to check that out. And the other podcast I want to mention and highly recommend is a, a new podcast series called Being Human, which was launched probably a couple of months ago now by the Evangelical Alliance. So there's about eight or so episodes there for you to listen to. Peter Linus from Northern Ireland hosts it with a, a colleague of his called Joe, who's based in London. And the two of them give a, just a brilliant cultural critique from a, uh, from a Christian perspective. And it's very challenging, helping us to think through kind of 21st century life and what it means to be human uh, from a biblical standpoint. So you can listen to either of those podcasts online. Uh, I'll put links in the video description below or else you can go onto your podcast provider and search for them. Now footballers' salaries have been under the spotlight in the last 24 hours. Politicians in the UK have described the uh, Premier League clubs as living in a moral vacuum. It's a huge statement to make. And this kind of comes about as many clubs have put their non-playing staff on furlough allowing the government to pay their wages up to 80%. And the criticism is that their superstar footballers are all earning hundreds of thousands of pounds per week and they're not taking a pay cut at all. And yet the non-playing staff are having to live off government money and a reduced salary of 80%. And this, of course, has caused a, a bit of outcry. Now, just to say, not all clubs are doing this. Some are taking different approaches. Some players and managers are taking uh, quite big pay cuts to make sure that non-playing staff are, are able to remain on a full wage. Perhaps, though, the other clubs need to start following suit and quickly. Maybe they should be looking at, at some of the clubs around the world and following their example. And I was reading about Juventus yesterday. Juventus are, are really leading the way in this. They're, they're the biggest club in Italy, one of the biggest clubs in the world. They have Cristiano Ronaldo on their uh, playing staff, one of the highest paid footballers for the last decade. And their entire team have stopped receiving any salary at all for four months to make sure the club has enough money to pay its non-playing staff and to stay afloat. So not all football clubs are living in a, a moral vacuum, it seems. Folks, I'd love to hear your thoughts on some of this. Keep your comments coming. Send me a text even to let me know what you think about all this stuff. Quickly, I want to mention an event that's coming up this Sunday afternoon. The, the leaders of the churches across Ireland are calling for an hour of national prayer on Sunday afternoon at three o'clock. So 
we're going to make resources available to help us with our praying. But for now, I just want to mention this to you to let you know this is happening on Sunday afternoon to try and keep that hour free so you can sort of stop whatever you're normally doing then at three o'clock and we'll spend time together uniting our hearts in prayer against uh, against this virus that's going on. So we look forward to that Sunday, three o'clock, keep it free. And finally, I just want to read you something from the Psalms uh, again this morning, as we do on a lot of days, hopefully by way of encouragement. Despite the troubles we face, there's still plenty to be thankful for, plenty of ways for us to engage with one another and plenty of ways for us to praise the Lord and worship him. So Psalm 84 says this, How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord Almighty. My soul yearns, even faints, for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Even the sparrow has found a home, and the swallow a nest for herself where she may have her young. A place near your altar, Lord Almighty, my King and my God. Blessed are those who dwell in your house. They are never stop praising you. Better is one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord bestows favour and honour. No good thing does he withhold from those whose walk is blameless. Lord Almighty, blessed is the one who trusts in you and in you alone. Folks, Whatever you do today, wherever you go, I hope that you have a good day. I hope that you know the Lord's presence with you. And as always, stay safe and God bless.